How's it going everybody? It is a beautiful Colorado morning out and today it's all about bass fishing and bluegill fishing. You guys have seen me fish this lake before but you guys have mostly seen me fish the east side of the lake. I'm gonna be fishing mostly the west side of the lake today. There's a rock wall on there, some vertical structure and I haven't been over there in quite a bit so we'll see what other types of vegetation and stuff is growing but really looking to get in some big fish today. I'm in neoprenes right now. You're seeing that correct, it's middle of July. I got little chicken legs and it's really easy for my legs to get cold. So I'm gonna be working up a sweat, probably getting up here, but as soon as I get into the water, I'll be able to cool off. It's about eight o'clock in the morning right now. So the walk won't be too bad, but the more I talk, the more time goes on, the more the temperature rises. High today is probably gonna be in the mid nineties. So I'm gonna make my way up there right now and probably fish through the morning, maybe into the late morning. We'll see how the bite goes though. But stay tuned, hopefully we can get in some big fish. All right, you guys, I made it here. Um, there's a lake. I'm usually way, way over there on that side of the lake. So I got some nice vegetation along the shoreline here. I got some vertical structure, I got this whole rock wall. I know you guys can't see it because um, I'm on the GoPro camera, but I can see some bass down there. I can see a whole bunch of bluegill. I wanna give a couple tosses here first and then we'll get out there right in the middle of this vegetation here and that vertical structure, get out in the middle and kind of start casting both ways. And yeah, feeling pretty good already. So fingers crossed, hopefully things go well. I see some bluegills. I think they're on beds over here. I've heard that bluegills can spawn multiple times a year. These gills, as you may have seen, oh man, that's got a big jump out there by that vertical structure. These gills can get pretty flipping big. I got the 120 ounce mushroom head here with the PB and J. I got some other soft plastics with me. I also got my other rod with me as well. With the 3 8 ounce chatterbait on there, chartreuse and white with a Seiko swim bait trailer. Oh, got one. That's a tiny bass. Super tiny one. Just letting the belly boat acclimate, but as I was saying, um, I got those two setups to start with. And I got a bunch of soft plastics with me, a bunch of different rig setups. I got moving, moving baits as well. I got a whole bunch of different stuff. So we'll see what happens today and see what we need to do to get after them. I can see a sunfish right there on a bed too. Got one. Oh, this is a lot better. So this is on the Ned Rig, you guys. It's nothing huge, but... Uh, that sunfish is swimming. It's attacking that bass. All the gills and all the panfish right now are on beds, they're in spawn, so... <laughs> They weren't too happy about this bass one here. All right, it's not terrible. About a pound and a half, but yeah. PB and J, you guys. God, there's some huge gills over here, man. Some of these guys are, a lot of these guys are probably in the six to seven, but there's a couple of them down there that are just huge compared to them. Those have gotta be MAs. All right, let's get out there. Oh yeah, that feels so, so much better. I have also switched to the California Craw rattling that instead, a little bit more of a natural. The water is ultra clear. Do I have something? I think I have weeds. Oh no, I have a fish. Oh, really dinker. Oh, I got, he had it for a second, shoot. Got one, you guys. Little bass. Dinker largemouth. Small. Got one. That's a decent one. Right. 
Well, about a pound. So you might be asking yourself, you know, why have I chosen, you know, Tyler, why are you choosing to target this type of this type of structure today. It's just, I just know there's a lot of bluegill in here for, as far as we're targeting that goes. And they like to hang out around structure typically. And as far as bass goes, they're ambush predators for the most part. And finding stuff like rock walls, some type of vertical structure, you know, weed beds, stuff like that, depending on the type of year, especially. Especially now we're out of the spawning cycles and there's kind of doing regular acting in here. Vertical structure, really any type of structure is a good, Always a good place to start to try to find some fish. Got one. Got that right off that, right off that structure there. Right where that pipe's coming down, I got that cast right in there. Where are all the big ones at though? This one's a little bit smaller. This one's maybe a pound. Oh man, before I move around that structure, just admiring the view. This reservoir is a really fun place to get in some warm water species, but it's just really breathtaking views too. A lot of places out here in Colorado, I guess you could say that, but it just doesn't get old. Got one, small. <laughs> Didn't even feel him, but take it. That one. More janks. Maybe some bigger fish on the structure, you would think. I'm dealing with a little bit of an issue with my GoPro overheating when I'm on that side because I'm facing directly into this blazing hot sun. So I'm gonna, I moved back over here. I'm gonna stick on this side. So the Ned's been working, of course, but Hasn't exactly been pulling in the huge fish. The biggest one I got was probably right before I got in my belly boat. So we're going to try something a little bit bigger, throwing a little bit of a craw pattern here. Got the three inch summer craw pattern from Guggen Baits now. I know there's a lot of mixed feelings on Guggen Baits. I don't really care about what they're doing. I just use stuff that it, I. I used to be a fan of like Flair and John B and stuff like that. I used to watch them all the time before I started my channel. And I know they've kind of gotten a bit obnoxious, but I do like their products and they've worked for me over the years really well. Um, I'm certainly willing to try other products. If you guys have other soft plastic companies besides Z-Man, I love Z-Man too. If you guys have any other suggestions on what I should be throwing, go ahead and let me know. Comment below what your favorite soft plastic company is. All right, give me a hint. I'm, I'm more than willing to always try different stuff. Oh, this three inch summer crawl looks great in the water though. I'm always willing to try other things, you guys. Those of you that have been with me on the channel for a while. I mean, I love my sponsor stuff, of course, too, but I like to fish with whatever works. And I don't really have a, trout fishing's more where I'm sponsored at. So I'm not really tied down on bass fish and stuff. So if you guys have a soft plastic company, go ahead and let me know. Comment below what your favorite soft plastic company is. So I got the summer crop pattern on here and I also got that now with a eighth ounce Ned rig weight. That will definitely get that to sink a lot faster. Got one. All right. All right, that's a better one. Well, it's better, but it's nothing much better, but it's better. Nice. This kind of looks like the same fish I caught like three or four fish ago. It's about a pound, a little over. Back down to the depths he goes. Got one. 
small guy. I got that right below my boat. Well, so far they seem to be about the same size. There's gotta be a bigger fish. Got one. Well, there's certainly fish on this structure. It's just that they're all really tiny. The other side of the lake seems to have bigger fish. At least, well, I shouldn't just say that, but generally the fish I catch on the other side are bigger than these ones. These are all really tiny. Got to another one, you guys. Oh, spit it. Little guy, though. Just still skating this craw around. The vertical structure and the rocks and stuff that are over here. Still gotta believe that there's a fish bigger than two pounds over here. Oh my goodness. I have this little, I have a, they're all little gills, but there's a giant school of them right under me. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's probably about 40 gills just swarming around me. I am out here in the middle of the water. Maybe they're trying to get some of the shade. Oh my gosh, there's so many gills. Maybe I can get him closer to me so you guys can see him. Look at this. Can you guys see him? There are so many gills. These aren't the ones I want to be catching. These are all really tiny ones, probably about biggest one being five inches, but that's really funny. Oh, there's a bass down there. All right, got the shaky head set up now. Slim shake worm. Oh, look, it's all the bluegills again. But it's also starting to get extremely hot out here, so I'm gonna work a little bit more of this vertical structure and then probably, probably get out of here after that. I still gotta walk out a good little bit, and it's not gonna be fun. So let's see if we can get some bigger fish on this vertical structure. We have vertical structure targeting episode today. Almost all of my bites have come off the bottom or a little bit above it. So I think I'm gonna to try to get a bigger fish or at least target a bigger fish. The slim shake set up with the shake he has a good way to go. I bit a little bit off of that worm so it's not as long as the original slim shake, but it's about five and a half inches still, I'd say. It's been a while since I've caught a fish off the shaky head. Uh, I thought it was recording, but I didn't get the hook set, but I got a fish here on the shaky head. Another, another about pound and a half or took the whole worm, munched it. Shaky head, quarter round setup, pound and a half bass. Yeah. All right, everybody, that about does it for me. I've actually been here for about four and a half, near five hours, lost track of the time, had a lot of fun just targeting this vertical structure. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Nothing huge today, but did get into a good amount of fish. Lots of largemouth bass. Biggest one being right off that ledge there of that last pillar out here in the water right before I got on my belly boat. But I still had a lot of good times out here. Cool seeing all the bluegills swarm around me. Nice to be out here in the weather, but I'm gonna get out of here because I got about a mile and a half hike in neoprenes to, uh, to get back to my car. That's gonna be a really rough one. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Until next time, keep cops on and out.